precious angels are being lost due to senseless gun violence. And we want to bring the message of we need to stop it. On a day we remember those who've died serving their country, a Midtown plaque is unveiled in memory of the innocent victims of gun violence on the streets. At a time the city has seen an increase in children being those innocent victims of that violence. I'm John Holt. And I'm Crystal Martinez. Organizers stress that while it's important to remember those that have lost their lives, it's even more important to do the work so no other kids have to die senselessly. Fox 4's Malik Jackson joins us live outside the Justice and Dignity Center. Malik, for some of the people you talked with, this isn't a new reality. Not only is it not new, it's places that these families have set before either losing a child or a grandchild. And while today was certainly about remembering the past, it was also an opportunity to shine a light in an area so that we don't repeat the past. To give honor to those babies. We have to elevate our young people's minds so that they can understand that so, uh, picking up a gun to try to solve your problems, it doesn't do anything but increase the problems that you have. While there was fun games, hot dogs, hamburgers, and community, the reason this group of people decided they needed to be together on this holiday was deeper than just having the day off. We're going to unveil their names. They came together to remember the kids lost to gun violence and do their best to raise awareness so they hopefully can save the ones that are still here. Affected by gun violence that they had nothing to do with, uh, but yet their life was taken because somebody was trying to shoot at somebody else, but they missed. This comes at a time where over the last two months, innocent children have found themselves in the crosshairs over and over again. A six-year-old shot in the head while riding his bike. An 11-year-old killed doing nothing wrong but being inside of her home. A four-year-old shot in the head while in the car with her father. Sadly, the list goes on. That's why we need to shine this light. Joanne Bell knows exactly where those families sit. It was only six years ago that her teenage grandson lost his life to a gunshot wound. The cemeteries are full of young kids. Bullocks don't have no conscience. They can hit anybody. That's why that memorial over there is so important, especially to me. And the hope here is that they have to add no more names on that plaque that you see lit up right there behind me. If you would like to help this organization, this nonprofit, and their mission of curving youth violence, you can click on this story on fox4kc.com.